again, Scott from Wessex Blades. Um, the project I'm going to have a little go through now is these artist palettes. I'll shake you like that. Now, obviously, their thumb is going to be going in this little sort of groove area here. And you don't just want a nice square sort of fit. You want it sort of sculpted there and there as your thumb and that flat part of your palm will go in. So I'll get it mounted in the vise and we'll go through how you work that away with the Right. Thumb. Now when you're working in a vise, try and get the area you're going to work with as low as possible. So see if we can work with that. And I'm only going to clamp it lightly because I don't want to mark the plywood with the metal jaws. Now you could put some ply in there but I'm not too worried because I'm going to sand it all off later anyway. And again We've got a file, a half round file, and a beastly great half round rasp. So what I'm going to do, start with a sort of effect like this, and then use the flat there. enough material do my little crafty trick using a half round file wrapped in sandpaper just to take the teeth marks out and what I've got to keep doing is feeling it so I know I need to move more material there you can actually have a bit of pencil scratch it away or just give yourself an idea of what you want to remove there so I'll move that out bring that a little bit more horizontal go back to the right keep playing with it. I'm getting close there but that's still getting in the way. Keep going to and fro in the voice. I'm gradually getting myself a decent fit in there. Right, okay, so I've got that area there as comfortable as I can using um, the sandpaper right on the file. I'm going to go in there with my hand so this basically a pleasure to use because if you can imagine someone's going to be sat there painting, I don't know, for three or four hours. The last thing you want is some annoying catching section there. So I'm going to really concentrate on getting that as smooth and as nice to put your thumb in as possible. And we'll go around the edge. Sandpaper like that. Um, and the important thing being the palette is that you give it a really good coat of varnish. So I'm going to give it a coat of that because all the paint that goes on there in the varying little spots and whatever in the mix is it would be nice if you could sort of wash it off now and again and if you've got a really good coat of hard varnish it won't soak into the wood too much so eventually I'm going to have it nice and sanded and a coat of varnish just before you put the varnish on you want to get all the dust off and then put some white spirit on to get all your fingerprints out and then hopefully it will be a really good seal put the paint on. See you in a bit. Right, what I'm doing now is I'm using some white spirit on a cloth and just cleaning up the wood, getting rid of all the dust that could be on there and any finger marks as well because the varnish won't take if you've got a, a sort of greasy finger mark on it. So it's dust free, oil free there we go. Put the white spirit. And we get the varnish on. Alright. The varnish. 
Okay, I'll stir. Different cloth. And I've already planned where I'm going to put this to lay down. So you don't start varnishing it first and then uh, uh, you're looking for somewhere to put it. Okay, I've got a rack in the back there. cloth eventually will work out quite good because of the evenness that it could, of the coat that it can put on. Any excess you just wipe away like that. Now even though it's ply it's still wood so it will soak crazily into that area there with the old fibres of the wood like tubes like little straws you've got to make sure you put extra on the edge nice, I'll get back when I've done it all see you in a bit I'll turn it off with a finger other than the hood and the for a minute <laughs> Thank you. It's alright. How does it look like? It's very nice. A pretty pattern. Yeah. That's because it's stained varnish. So just bring out the, the green. And my little one's popping in as well. You happy then, Amber?